In this video, let's make the association between the AR1 process we discussed in the previous video with the topic of random walk. So what the random walk is, is a special type of AR1 process. For instance, let's say we're regressing against sales in the current period based on the sales in the previous period. And the property of a random walk is going to be that the slope coefficient beta is going to be equal to 1. Now recall from the previous video, we said that to have a stationary time series, a stationary AR1 process, we need the criteria that beta must be less than 1 in absolute value. And over here, we clearly see that we're violating that assumption because we say that beta would be equal to 1. But what's the intuition? Why would this be called a random walk? What's, wh what's random? Well, look. Uh, let's do the math and we'll see what happens behind the scenes. If beta takes the value of 1 and we substitute 1 over here times sales t minus 1, we add the error term and we add a certain error term, that's going to predict for us, that's going to predict for us the sales in the current period. Now, if we write this in a better way, that would be sales at time t. 1 times sales at t minus 1 is equal to just sales at t minus 1. So that's sales at t minus 1 plus an error term. What does this tell us? plus an error term. This tells us that the best predictor for sales in the future is equal to sales in the past. So whatever sales we have in the past, in the previous period, is going to be the best predictor for sales in the future period because there's no slope coefficient, no effect that we can predict to have a change in the future. So this value would be equal to that value on average and whatever deviation we have in the future is going to happen to the error term is going to happen for ut. So these are going to be all the specific time factors that can affect sales. Maybe there's a trend in fashion that's going to make people buy more of our clothes. Maybe there's a recession in the economy so people cannot buy as many clothes. These things are not in our control. These things happen randomly, aka random walk. Whatever deviations happen across time are going to happen randomly, not because we are able to predict a relationship between the previous value and the future value of that variable that we are regressing. Hope this all makes sense. That's the intuition of the random walk. That's the highlight. In the next videos, we're going to see what types of random walks we have, basically how we can model this relationship and what kind of tests we can do.